The video has already been recorded, but I decided to place this at the beginning to let people know what was on my mind or why I decided to respond in this way instead of responding to it directly as far as his talking points. I might still do that some other time anyway because reparation season is upon us. You know that time of year when niggas get on here in large numbers acting like they want us to have reparations? Then it goes away. That season is almost here. Now I'm looking at Pharaoh who did a live stream yesterday titled Biden gives funding to tribal nations while ignoring black Americans. He also did a video about Jay Morrison and I'll have that one in the description box. You want to see, but if you want to see his tribe funding video, just look on this channel because I'm only going to put the Jay Morrison video in the description box. And one more thing I thought about. I use the word y'all a lot. And I feel I need to be clear on who y'all is. Y'all are simply the people who fit the description of what you'll hear me describing. If you're not part of y'all, then I'm not talking about you. And there's a whole lot more I can say about this stuff, but I'll see if I could... I'll see if I can leave it right here for now. And the ones on here who I see struggling to move away from your usual routine or you're obsessed with talking about certain people and you can't stop. I know the struggle. Trust me, I know it well. Now here's why I'm heated. And here's why I can't wait to see Jay. See, we're not going to court or none of that. Let's get that straight. I can't wait to see him. There was a documentary about the civil rights era and I don't know where that specific documentary is at. I've seen it on here maybe 10 years ago and I don't know where that thing is at. So it's a few specifics I'm not sure of. Like I forget the dude's names and what colleges it was, but they were talking about the first black player to play at whatever college that was. I don't remember. And this dude whipped the complete hell out of the other team by himself. A one-man gang. Every time his team got the ball, they gave it to him. Like, here, nigga, take the ball, run. And the coach of the ass-whipping receiving team, he was one of many coaches during that time who protested having black players playing football or in, engaging in anything, for that matter. They, they just didn't want black people around, period. But he was one of them, right? Certain teams would, they would threaten to forfeit games or they wouldn't show up to play if they heard it was going to be a black player on the other team. Y'all... Y'all know how it was back then. And this coach was one of them. I forget his name, though. And after the game, and this was on camera, they asked the coach about the slaughter that took place out there, specifically about the black running back. And his statement was, I need to go out and get us one of those. Let me say it again. I need to go out and get us one of those. You know, like the brother was an object instead of a person. Or like he saw his neighbor on one of those riding mowers and said, I need to go out and get me one of those. Do y'all know that as soon as it was lawful and legal to depict black people having sex with white people in porn, white people rushed out and got them some black folks. Like, come here, nigga, get naked. Get in there and do your thing so I can get this money. See, because they know how to go out and get us one of those, us meaning them. Y'all have not learned that in order to obtain all of these things that y'all see as great for black people, you will need to go out and get us one of those. Take just pearly things, for example. Instead of grabbing that chick and throwing a saddle on her back and riding her off into the sunset, y'all chose to destroy her instead. Another golden goose you ran into the ground because you refuse to learn that you'll need to go out and get us one of those. Sell out or sacrifice. Sell out or compromise. Sell out or seeing the big picture. Sell out or ends justify the means. Y'all have not learned that you need to go out and get us one of those. You don't want to do that because you're too busy being. Y'all have yet to learn. That's why the ones of you listening would rather fixate on just pearly things being white saying what she's saying instead of fixating on going out <laughs> to get us one of those.
Same thing with Tommy Sotomayor. Another golden goose, you run him off. A man the size of Tommy who would come to people's channels and engage, you run him off. Tommy didn't care if you averaged 18 people watching, he'll still come through. Get up on your panel, hit your link, or he'll agitate the chat room or piss off everybody in there. Other people the size of Tommy don't go back and forth with little channels. But Tommy, he'll beef with you for a year. But instead of keeping Tommy as part of your uh, daily sustenance, your daily bread, you run him off. What did white folks do? What did white folks do as soon as it was lawful? They went out and gobbled up every Negro from the Chitlin circuit that they could and threw them right up in there in the major leagues, didn't they? I guess of course they did because they know how to go out and get us one of those, us meaning them. But y'all don't want to do that because you want to be so black and black first and black only, black or nothing, so black, so black that that's all you can see, which is nothing. Y'all must think that getting big means to be, means being honest and pure. You must think a company like Starbucks is worth billions because their coffee and cheesecake is just that good. No. They're into major arms dealing and narcotics trafficking and a bunch of other stuff. As well as these other large corporations. War and drugs. The people, places and things y'all admire and think we should be like. Fuck your password, it's Danny. Y'all are simultaneously not willing to do what they did to get it. But how I see it, y'all shouldn't be wanting that stuff for us in the first place. You know it's blood money. The people y'all are eyeballing and pocket watching and using as role models for us. How I see it. Come back, 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 more, more, more. Come back, back. I've used that same clip before to make the same point I just made. They're not good models. They've let the earth off the edge of a cliff because look at where the world is today. Look at it. So in this commentary, I haven't been speaking on what I think we should have, but rather I've been talking about what y'all think we should be striving for and how y'all have been unwilling to go out and get us one of those. Like that mock quest to get reparations a few years ago with the ADOS and the FBA fiasco that was going on. One of the many reasons nothing of sustenance came out of that is because y'all are too cosmetic. Too focused and fixated on race and other petty and frivolous things. That's why all Yvette and Tariq had to provide y'all with was a name. ADOS and FBA, just call y'all that and y'all was fine with that. They knew they didn't have to give y'all nothing. They know what you're into and what makes y'all feel great. They know it. Yeah, yeah. Fresh paint job. Shit. Fresh inside. Shit. Is the outside frame in the trunk wide. Or the rims big. Do it right good. That's all y'all care about. Just looking like something. Looks, appearances, aesthetics. That's all y'all care about, just being black or Native American, we was always here, and I'm ADOS and they not, I'm foundational black American and they not. So they gave y'all a name. So they gave y'all a name, and you know, you know since y'all don't want shit, they gave y'all a name and some t-shirts to wear and some hats to put on. Tariq gave y'all the building too, so what's the problem? They already gave y'all what y'all wanted. They provided according to your own cosmetic and superficial nature. Reparations? Don't Tariq got a section in that museum where y'all can go look at reparations hanging up on the wall in a painting or maybe a statue of reparations in there or something? And for Boyce, if you watch it, now he sold us a black dream they ain't like buying no Popeye's chicken or none of that. Many of us were just helping them just on that strength. So now we helping you on that strength. We need to see something happen. And if you bragging that you're this genius and you can do all these great things, but we give you your money and you don't do nothing, what are we supposed to think happen with the money? My issue is the reason I invest 
and what Jay Morrison sold me, he sold me a black dream. Bro exploited or used, I should say, the plight of black people to get this help. And I both and for boys to compare buying Popeye's chicken to this man that used the plight of black people to get all that money that magically then disappeared. That's not cool. Jay Morrison came with the blackness. With he used the Tulsa, you know, a lot of stuff. I don't like the way that went down. I'm not going to jump off the roof because, you know, it might be some not, but it's the point of brother trying to do something. So the brother's playing on our blackness. Without him playing on our blackness, I wouldn't have gave him a dime. Now, here's why I'm heated. And here's why I can't wait to see Jay. Uh, no, uh, uh don't. So why are you mad? Like, don't be mad. What you got to be mad about? Because that's what y'all get for your cosmetic nature. You get what you pay for. In fair exchange, there's no robbery. You received that. That's what you wanted. Jay Morrison, Yvette Tariq, Boyce Umar don't have to give nothing other than what they gave you when you are people who don't think that you need to go out and get us one of those. In that clip where Pharaoh was talking about Jay Morrison, that's not the one from yesterday. That was from uh, that was actually from four months ago. And I fought myself back then to not respond to that. I started recording three times and I changed my mind three times because, you know, a few years ago I decided that I would no longer be talking about black power people like I used to. Never said I won't talk about them anymore at all. I said just not that much of my time will be spent on them like I used to do. But I'm going to end with this. When it comes to this stuff y'all think we should have, reparations and generational wealth or, you know, all that stuff. Some people, you know, some people say that you believe we should have our own black nation and all the rest of that stuff. See, when it comes to that stuff, y'all's problems are self-inflicted. The reason we don't have this and the reason we don't have that it's y'all's fault. It's y'all's fault for many reasons. And one of those reasons is because y'all really don't want shit. You just want to look good and sound good. Tariq advertised the theater. Here it go. Here it go right here. So maybe y'all can go in there and watch reparations on the big screen. Maybe y'all can go in there and watch us get funding on there instead of watching Joe give Native Americans funding. Just want to look good and sound good. That's why people get to play on your blackness so easily. It's been a long time since I used that clip. Who's been in charge? Y'all routinely place hustlers on the forefront, but you still think we should have already got reparations. Why? Why do you think that? Why? And listen, hustlers is not always a bad thing in of itself. But when your hustlers are just as cosmetic as the congregation is, that's when hustlers are a problem. Because they're not trying, the hustler is not trying to hustle everybody up to the top. No. They want the congregation down and they want themselves up at the top. And all they, that's why all they needed to do is to make y'all feel good about being black. Yes, may I help you? It's a lot of reasons why we don't have what y'all think we should have. And another one of those reasons is because y'all have yet to understand that you need to go out and get us one of those. Now, after this, I'm going to be going on to engage in an internal struggle with myself to not bother with the rest of what I want to say about other people getting funded and all that. I don't know who's going to win the struggle, me or it, but let me go on and get ready for this fight. Because then I believed in this man and I talked to my wife at the time to invest in this man. And that's where we got a problem. Not so much my money. But I believed in this brother.
and I talk my wife into time to invest her money, and then that's on me. I need that bread back. <laughs>